Hi, hello, this is Anoop here and in this video we are going to see how to patch third-party applications like Chrome, Java using custom catalog option available in SSEM. Okay, let's jump into it. Over here, I am there in the third-party patching node. You can see this is already enabled. If you want to watch video about setting up third-party patching in SSEM, you can refer to my previous videos. I will put link in the description below. Let's jump into the configuration part of adding custom catalog. So there is a ribbon button over here. You just need to fill out the download URL details. So over here, what I'm going to show you is a custom catalog from Manage Engine. They provide patches for more than 300 applications, third-party applications like Chrome, Java, WinRAR, most of the commonly used applications. Okay, they provide patches through their catalog. We are going to add that particular catalog into the SSCM and this is a paid custom catalog. This is not a free version of the catalog. You need to pay the subscription charges for this catalog. Okay, I already filled the metadata and this is the URL which you will get from Manage Engine. You can opt for a trial version. Okay, and you can try this custom catalog. I will provide the trial version details in the description of this video. Okay, let's click next. Next, finish this off. Now we need to subscribe to this catalog. Okay, I clicked on subscribe to catalog button over here from the ribbon. Now what it will do is it will download the cap file from manage engines server okay it got downloaded now i can verify the certificate from them okay soho corporate that looks okay click on the agreement and click next and click next to finish the subscription Let's close this window and I just need to check what is happening in the log file. So this is the log file which I wanted to look that is SMS underscore ISV updates underscore sync agent. Okay. Let's check what is happening over there. This is a version 2 catalog. Manage Engine is providing version 2 catalog. That is not the latest catalog. Version 3 is the latest catalog. With the version 3, you can get a lot of options like selecting the product categories. You can sync the metadata of only the selected products. And version 3 got released in the latest version of SSEM Technical Preview 1906 and I'm sure that will be part of production version 1906 so uh, you can as you can see 19 updates got synchronized with WSUS as you can see you can not quad plus plus and all the other things got updated it's nice so these not quad plus updates came into WSUS from Manage Engine catalog. They are providing this. Let's go back to administration workspace and check out the components. Configure site component, software update point properties. Let's check whether there is any 
product got added over there or not I can't see anything so what we need to do is I think we didn't sync after that so probably we might need to run a sync to get this products updated okay so let's check the log file w sync mgr what is happening over there okay so the synchronization got completed now okay and it it synchronized a lot of updates so let's check back um, whether there is any update on the products so because we add we have already added manage engines custom catalog okay let's check the configure site components software update point let's go to products wow can you see that google chrome i don't know what is this igor pavlov <laughs> seven zip oh, okay that's a seven zip patches okay so let's let's try to do a google chrome and if you go down you can see patch connect plus so manage engines catalog product is also updated over here okay patch connect plus that's cool so let's let's try google chrome this is also coming from manage engines patch connect plus okay let's click ok and go back to software updates and do a sync again <laughs> yeah need to sync it so let's check whether the sync is happening and we will come back once the sync is completed we just finish we just finished the wso synchronization and as you can see over here google chrome we got an update after the synchronization okay that is google chrome 64 and that is what we have selected in the product right so let's see whether the chrome is ah superb you can see the google chrome update over here remember this is blue so that means the only metadata is available if i click on download it will say and cannot be downloaded so before that you need to publish third party software update content this option you need to select okay so i'm going to publish google chrome so let's sync again because we try to publish it now let's sync again synchronize software updates so i'm running this wso sync again let's see how much time it is going to take sync and publish the third party content let's go back and check what is happening over here in this particular log file okay that means the chrome standalone update got downloaded as you can see over here okay that's cool
I can see the Chrome got updated and synchronized as per the wsync mgr.log okay that's good so the icon should be green now let's let's check that out okay so the google chrome icon is green now that means the update is ready for the deployment okay so what you can do is basically you can click on deploy and you, if you have a template you can select that template and click ok that will automatically ensure everything is done so deployment package you can select a new pa existing package or you can create a new package that is google google chrome okay and you might need to provide the package source as well let's create a folder for storing the package source and check out the share and provide the package source over here package source path over here and click next you can enable the binary differential if you want I'm going with the default options and you can add a distribution point add a next next finish basically what will happen is if you look at patch download log the content is getting downloaded okay those details will be available in patch downloader. This is as per the normal standard practice of software update. The zero percentage is completed now. It's still downloading. You can go to this path and check out what is happening over here. Google Chrome patch is getting stored, downloaded, and stored in this path. Okay, one gap gap file is already there check out okay so this is completed that's cool you can just finish by clicking on close so that will make sure targeted missions will get the chrome update you can confirm that from the deployment package whether the chrome package got created and it got distributed or not okay so that's cool how many updates are there in the chrome if you want to add more patches from manage engine what you can do is go to sites and primary site configure site component software update point products tab and add other 7 zip if you want 7 zip updates you can add 7 zip you can select the 7 zip over here okay and if you want other patch connect plus components you can add those from here scrub updates and all you can add it from here that is a video tutorial about adding third-party custom catalog the paid version of custom catalog to update chrome 7 zip those kind of third-party applications so the third-party catalog which I added is from manage engine as I mentioned in the first section of the video, you can get the trial version details in the description of this video. I would recommend to try that out and let me know the feedback. Thank you for watching. Hope this was useful. Bye bye.